I got this really cute parka. It is from the Love 21 line. So I'm guessing what I read is that the Love 21 is a more contemporary line and a more contemporary fit. So I think they have a little side note next to the product stating that um, the fit is a little bigger or I guess roomier compared to the regular Forever 21 fit. And I had never tried on anything or purchased anything from the Love 21 line, but I did notice this because this is a medium and it actually fit me perfect even even not even if that a little roomy like a little loose which is fine um but this fit amazingly i wasn't looking for a parka or a jacket but it's good i figured if i don't get it now i'm gonna be looking for a jacket forever and once fall and winter comes i'm not gonna find nothing so it was thirty dollars 29.80 it looks amazing on this call it's a grayish color. I wanted originally a military a army green color. Didn't find it and they only had this one but I'm just impressed. I'm going to share with you how impressed I am with the detailing on this. So Forever 21 is really good. They really usually have really good deals but sometimes the quality is not all there. Well check this out. The whole inside, all the inside is fully lined. I don't think I've ever seen this on a Forever 21 jacket or at least not on any that I've tried on, bought, or look through um the pockets are working zippered pockets i really like this little elastic I'm trying to not move it that much little elastic right here and i was surprised by this super cool it has a little zipper on the collar and you could take out a hood which works amazingly for me because last year i don't think i had anything with the hood so i mostly wore beanies all the time but you know the hood is good um, yeah, so I'm excited about this one. Maybe once it starts getting colder at night, I'm going to wear it like over my shorts or like over my top shorts. Kind of like that half summer, half fall look. Again, transition. And then um, fall and winter, just layer it and make it look super, super cute. Okay, this is my last piece from Forever 21. And I actually found something I was looking for. And it's actually the piece I'm really not sure about. Not because I don't like it, but because of the fit. So this is also from the Love 21 line, medium again. This time I wasn't sure if I should have gotten the medium. I tried on the large and it seemed really big on the armholes. But then I figured if I'm wearing a cute bra, I don't care if it shows. Anyways, this one's a little snugger on the top. It's just a regular maxi dress. And it's an olive-ish green brown, which is the color I wanted. The material is different than what I expected. It's a little thicker, which is I guess is fine. I'm honestly just not sure about the fit. It's a little snug around the stomach area, and I usually usually don't like that. But it was twenty bucks, nineteen eighty. So I'm gonna try it on. Maybe go on a little mini diet or do some crunches. I don't even think I believe myself, but um, and see how it looks. I it also has a slit on the bottom, so I really like that. Um, great. To transition into fall again I keep on repeating this but I could wear it now more summery with sandals and then I'm thinking for fall I want to layer it with maybe the parka or even a motorcycle my motorcycle leather jacket um, my wedges and socks or boots or like I have like a pair of brown moto boots I'm not sure how that's gonna look I have to try it on but 20 bucks so I'm hoping the fit works out for me so this is all what I got at Forever 21. It's not a lot. Well, it is a lot compared to the fact that I really didn't want to shop or was I wanted to. I wasn't supposed to. Um, okay, I'm taking forever. And then these are not from Forever 21, but I got them off of eBay. I have been wanting the status uh, sunglasses from Grant forever. I honestly don't have the money right now to buy the real deal, and I was having trouble finding them anyway. I originally wanted them in black. I didn't find them in black. They were off a uh, eBay seller vendor. His name, or not his name, but called Pimp Your Eyes. So if you're looking for these glasses, they came out to be about $7 including shipping. I think it's that one cheapy brand Kiss, but hey, cheapy works for me if they look amazing on. So I'm excited about these. I think these are my favorite sunglasses right now and I love like the tor the tortoise um, shell, kind of brown. I didn't have anything brown for sunglasses, so it worked out perfect. I would keep them on, but I'm going to look really ridiculous. Okay. 
And lastly, this is also not from Forever 21, but I wanted to share with you. Um, Lace-up sandals. I actually already used them. Um, I ordered them online. I orig originally wanted some from Urban Outfitters, ordered them a size too big, exchanged them by the time they were going to ship them back. They didn't have my size, so that was really sad. They were really cute. And I had been wanting something that tied up. I had some like three years ago, and I threw them away, plus they were really worn out. Um, but I really, I had been looking for something with a little wedge. I usually um, am not good with flat, flat, flat sandals. They're just too flat for me. And they actually, I think last time, I couldn't really walk for a whole week because I went to Vegas and I was wearing very, very flat sandals. And they were Steve Madden too, and they messed up my left foot. I had to go to the doctor and everything. It was really bad. So now I try to be careful. They're DV Dulce Vita. And I got them for 30, under 30 bucks, like 27-ish off of Amazon.com. So it was really cool, free shipping and everything. They took a little while to get here. Originally, again, originally wanted tan, but they it was the only size they had, eight and a half, which is my size. So I figured they were meant to me, meant to be for me. Um, and I think this is going to be my official last summer sandal or like shoe purchase because summer's almost over, and I'm going to want to spend my money on some of those amazing JC boots. And some jackets and blazers and some more boots and... Okay, yeah, so hopefully that's going to be my last really summer, summer, summer purchase. Wow, I can't believe I just talked for 15 minutes. I'm so sorry, you guys. Wow, okay, so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, Forever 21 should still have majority of the stuff I have. Depends on what store or even online, I think, online really great fall transition pieces so that you'll see them on on my outfit posts so have a great weekend and i'll not sure if i'm going to do another one but thank you for watching bye